In the latest patch, version 7.0.0, the Shoto boys, Ryu and Ken, received a few good buffs. But additionally, it is now possible to cancel their down smash startup into any true input special, even after charging. Intended or not, this, what we would call late Kara cancel, is really weird and hard to perform. I'm C5 from the Beefy Smash Dudes, and here is exactly how it works. To be clear, regular Kara cancels were already a thing before this patch, but we'll get to that later. Let's have the fun part first. How do you perform this? As you may know, if you watched our patch notes video, since version 7.0.0, Ryu and Ken are able to cancel their down smash into specials if they hit something with it. But even before the hitbox comes out, they can also cancel it, although only into true input specials. That means specials specials that use motion inputs on the control stick. The regular specials will not work here. This also means that you can cancel the down smash even after charging it for a while. Late car cancels can also give you a boost forward with the right timing. Here's how it works. Start a down smash and immediately after input any true special. That's it. For it to work, you have to perform it during the first 5 frames of the down smash, which is what makes this so hard. For reference, that's this long. Did you see it? Here it is again. That's how much time you have to release the down smash, do the control stick motion and press either A, B or grab again for the true special. Yes, you can use attack, special or grab to perform true specials, so there are different methods of doing this. After starting the down smash, move the control stick with the right motion while releasing A. Then you can either press the same button again or switch to a different button that has special or grab map to it. Be careful with sliding your finger from one button to another though, as you have to release the attack button before pressing another one for the cancel to work. This brings me to charging. If you hold attack, the down smash stops and charges on its second frame. Just as before, you can now input the control stick motion, release the attack button and immediately press either another one or the same one again. Note that here you have even less time to press the next button, since you basically start out after frame 2. The advantage though is that you can already input the control stick motion while charging and it will still work, as long as you did it shortly before releasing and repressing the button. For practice, the charging method is probably easier to get started, but for both methods the timing is really weird and does need some getting used to. So, why did we decide to call this late Kara cancel. Well, because as I said before, the Kara cancel is a regular mechanic that already existed before 7.0. Kara cancelling simply means cancelling the startup of one move to perform another and exists in Smash in a few different forms, like attack cancel aerials, dash attack cancel grabs or, for Ryu, Ken and Terry, the leeway on true inputs. This mechanic in particular allows you to cancel certain attacks into true specials during the start of the move. Why? Well, as with most Kara cancels, to prevent accidental misinputs. So in case you press A a bit before completely finishing the stick motion, the game gives you some leeway in which it already starts an attack but then cancels it into the special as soon as the stick motion is completed. But while the developers were working on the down smash changes, something must have gone wrong since most people agree that the late Kara cancel is in fact a glitch rather Rather than a new feature. And since now you have more than just one frame to Kara cancel down smash, and since the down smash charge starts at frame 2, you can charge the down smash and then still cancel it into a true special afterwards. So, does this have any useful applications? The first and obvious answer here is for swag, right? Then you can also do some mind games, bait your opponent into punishing your totally not obvious down smash from above and then go for a Shoryuken instead. 
might even really work every now and then, since a lot of people may not think about a weird tech like that in the middle of an intense battle or have simply forgotten about it a few weeks from now. You can cover multiple getup options on the ledge, start charging a down smash against regular getup and if you see them rolling instead, assuming you can react fast enough, go for a special instead. Same with the ledge jump and Troyuken, again assuming you can actually react to it. Fake out your opponent into thinking you want to punish their roll, but then Kara cancel. You get the idea. Lastly, you can of course sometimes go for a raw Kara cancel to simply surprise your opponent with the additional distance you cover. Shoto mains will most likely find a few more uses for it in the next few days or weeks, but the motivation for labbing this out isn't too great since everyone expects this to get patched out again very soon. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have some fun with it, but keep in mind it's really not easy. Shoutouts to the Shoto community for helping us out with this video and especially to my boy Bujogi. If you want to learn more cool stuff about Smash, you should definitely subscribe and if you want to see it before it gets patched out again, as it usually does, you should also hit the notification bell. As always, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.